so let's look now at going from hex to octal. So if you want to take a number from hexadecimal to octal, okay, you got to change it to decimal and then change that to octal. So if we take 5a, okay, which works out to be 90 in decimal, then we have to go through and we use the weighted multiplication then we have to go through the successive division process to get to 132 is base 8 is the same as 5a h 5a base h or base hexadecimal okay so you can see it's the same thing but we have to go through an intermediate which is decimal if we want to go from octal to binary We've got to go from octal to decimal, decimal to binary. So 132, we'll do 1 times 64 plus 3 times 8 plus 2 times 1 and get 90. Then we'll change that by successive division into binary and get our answer. All right, so it's the same procedures. We're just having to combine them. The trick is there's a shortcut, okay, because binary, octal, and hex are all related by powers of 2, okay, and that's the reason there is a shortcut, all right. So if you want to go directly between binary and octal, you have to group the binary bits into sets of 3, okay. Think about that, 2 cubed is 8, all right, so that's why we use that. We use 2 to the 4th, which is 16 for hexadecimal. All right, so, um, and sometimes you'll have to put in extra zeros. So look, if we group the binary number into groups of 3 and then read the number, we can tell what it is. So the last group is the number 2, the middle group is the number 3, and the first group is the number one, so that will be one, three, two, base eight. So if we want to do that with hexadecimals, we can do it, um, we have to make groups of four. All right, so one, zero, one, zero, okay, is the number, what, 10. And then one zero one is the number five, so that becomes five a in hexadecimal. All right? So that's a little shortcut method you can use to do conversions. All right? So let's use the shortcut. Um, if we do a six and base sixteen. So if we write it in binary. Um, a is 10, and we write that. And then we write the number 6, and we write them all together, dropping none of the zeros. And we get the binary number 1010110. Zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. Now, if we want to do the binary number in the octal, okay, then we group in bits of 3, okay, and we get the octal number. So we have the last group would be 6. That middle group of three, one, zero, zero, that would be the number four, and zero, one, zero would be two, so that becomes two, four, six, and base eight. 